other thing we'd like to talk about is what are some new potential revenue streams that AI could put, uh, generate uh, that, and how would you be able to um, police those new revenue streams? Well, I'll, I'll take it from sure. a couple lenses. One, uh, there's the gen AI side of generating new content, but there's also the other side of AI, which is to if create efficiencies in back office and finding the gaps in your existing revenue and closing those gaps from a data perspective. I think there, there's a lot of AI technologies that's out there that isn't coming anywhere near the IP side of the equation. So the, the intent that everyone looks at AI as one unified body is, is incorrect. There is, there is plenty of AI that you should be exploring even while legislation figures out the other end of it. Uh, because again, there is a lot of statements coming in. Huge amounts of data is coming in. AI is far better at parsing massive amounts of data than any human is. And when systems are interconnected inside your organizations, AI can absolutely help propagate and fill in those gaps between those systems. So uh, for me, that's really the, the, the lens that we should be looking at is rather than just thinking of this as how can we find new revenue streams, it's how do we make the existing ones more efficient with AI. There's two primary aspects of AI if you think about it. There's the generative AI and then there's your machine learning, predictive analytics, all that boring stuff which is great for technology people because that boring stuff adds to efficiencies, which means that your bottom line you know, gets better, cut cost, all that kind of good jazz. But realistically, we are all here talking about Gen AI because that's, that's, what, that's the 800-pound gorilla in the room, so to speak. The question really is how do you get to uh, making sure that A, when the model is being built, it, if it, if the, that if it is using intellectual property, those people are uh, fairly compensated. And that's one part of the challenge. Second is, how do you figure out that once the model has already been done, now you're generating new uh, media out of it, that you somehow figure out who uh, needs to get compensated on that. So there is, there is a licensing discussion in terms of, you created a model, but you use intellectual property, we need to get compensated for that. Second part of the conversation is, okay, the model's out there, it's licensed, something came out, there's usage associated, there's money associated, who do we pay? And that part of the technology is the bigger challenge from, a, again, from the nerd side of my brain that says, it is because of the gen AI aspect of the technology, it's hard, it, I'm not saying impossible, but it is hard to reverse engineer a generated content back to what actually specifically was used to create it.